Guys, have you heard about the brand new updates coming to YouTube? It's going to arguably change the platform moving forward, and I cannot wait for it. While the vast majority of these tools seem to be absolutely fantastic, there's one in particular that kind of worries me, and there might be a couple, but we're going to walk through it. We're going to walk through all of the updates today in just a second. Before we get into it, though, I do want to say hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Guys, let's start off by taking a look at Muaz on Twitter. This guy... If you guys are interested in anything YouTube, he is by far the best in my opinion. And there's a lot of great ones like Think Media, VidIQ. This guy is my go-to for anything YouTube related, and I absolutely love what he does. So we're going to walk through everything that he had to say with just all of the YouTube updates that have been going on. And I'm going to get my thoughts on it. As always, guys, I'd love to know what you think about it down below afterwards. So YouTube is adding inspiration tools. You can write a rough idea for what you want to upload, and it'll give you multiple good video ideas. It will also help creators with your video hook introduction outline, thumbnails, ideas with images, and more. So, a little bit of an issue with this one because, don't get me wrong, not an issue, okay? But vidIQ has had this, and I've had the trial for it. I've been playing around with it. Even if you just want to, like, try to do the same thing with ChatGPT or Google Gemini, I've tried this with various AIs, and even the best that you can get with AI. I've paid for software. None of it... And this might improve with time. I just have an issue. Like if Google Gemini can't do it, I don't imagine that YouTube will be able to do it. And Google Gemini isn't even the best at it. I find ChatGPT to be the best. And I played around with a bunch of different AIs. VidIQ can't do it either. They can't give you a proper title. They can't, they can't promote a thumbnail for you. The only thing that it's really good for is giving you feedback on a thumbnail. I use ChatGPT all the time for my thumbnails where it's like, hey, what would you do to change this for the best performance on YouTube? Then it's really, really helpful but if you're asking for it to like, hey, come up with a rough idea of something that would do really well if I'm making this video or anything like that, it just hasn't been helpful whatsoever. So this seems really cool. The video hook, introduction, thumbnails, script writing. Again, none of it has really, and it could improve in time, but starting off with this, I don't think that this is a change that I'm going to particularly use. If it surprises me, that's going to be really, really cool, and I will definitely be using it, but I'm just, that one I'm not too excited for. So let's continue on. Introducing YouTube VEO. Now YouTube Shorts will let creators use AI to type literally anything, anything at all, and it will make a realistic video using Google DeepMind. This will be huge for Shorts creators. Make literally anything in your mind a real video by writing. Now, this is another thing that the technology is going to need to advance like really, really well if we want this to be a thing. This has huge potential, and I think this is going to be something fantastic like maybe three five years down the road, maybe even before that, but at the point right now, if you've played with any sort of AI software, the videos that they make are just, they're just okay. There's stuff that could absolutely go viral for YouTube Shorts, but to make like full videos about it, I just don't know about it just right now. So this is something that I'm excited for if the updates keep coming, just not yet. This one is the big one, okay? Introducing YouTube Communities. Connect with your fans and audience on a different level. Think about it like a Discord server built into your channel. This is a huge for building true fans and your core audience. Something that I love, and I've had a lot of people disagree with me, and I've also had a lot of people agree with me, don't get me wrong. It's just, this one seems a little bit up in the air for how people feel about this, okay? I love that YouTube is becoming one platform for everything. I love that it's becoming one place for live streams, even just community posts, quizzes. I didn't like stories. I'm glad they got rid of that, but... I love the fact that they're doing their own Discord. This has serious potential. It's all about how YouTube rolls that one out, to be honest with you, because Discord is a perfect platform. Perfect. You can't get better than Discord right now. If YouTube can make something as good as Discord, it doesn't have to be better, as good, I can see myself getting off Discord and doing everything that I did on Discord on YouTube because it's on the same platform, and Discord does have an, an age limit. That might be one of the better things about Discord, though. That's the issue, because... Something that would be nice for YouTube communities, and I've been told this a lot. We go in Discord a lot to make videos and have posts and just for a fun community, right? Everybody has their own Discord server, and that's awesome. I'm trying to think of like, okay. I've been told a lot that people either don't have Discord or they're underage, okay? Because everybody has kids watch their content, but I'm thinking like, is it a better thing to have a community that's like 13 plus? I think so, but at the end of the day, when you're posting stuff, like if you're doing any giveaways or... If you're getting any video ideas, like something that I do on my on my on one of my other channels is I make like, hey, write a hot take about something. And we do that in Discord. It'd be nice to have that on YouTube. So it's tough. It's tough. I don't know how that one's going to work out. It's extremely interesting. I can't wait to see how, what it launches and what it ends up becoming. 
It has serious potential, this update. It's going to have to be as good as Discord, though. Not even just a little bit worse. You got to give a, a reason for people to leave Discord because, like I said, Discord is a perfect platform. You can't get better than Discord. So YouTube's going to have a lot of work with that one. Let's continue on. YouTube is adding a feature to help discover smaller creators. It will be called Hype. Only YouTubers with less than 500,000 subscribers will be shown here. The ranking will be community voted. You can hype a small creator like you help them get seen by more people. Now, I think there was another post about this before we continue on with it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. There was another hype feature about it. Let's continue on to just read this post and I'll give my entire, my entire thoughts on it after. Small creators on YouTube are going to have way more opportunity to grow now. This hype feature sounds like a trending tab for smaller creators. You can find emerging creators with it and vote for people you want in on it too. I'll keep you all updated as I learn more. So... What uh, my understanding from this so far is that you're going to have so many hypes a week. Let's say you have three hypes a week. You can choose three YouTubers to give your hype to, and they have to be less than 500,000 subscribers. The more people that have hype can get onto this hype trending page. Here's the issue. I don't know how many people use the trending page. I rarely use the trending page. The only time I really use the trending page is when I'm looking for what's going viral. <laughs> and, and even then, the most, the, for the most part, I don't find it on there. I don't know if people are going to go, okay, I'm going to go check out what's been hyped this week. Another issue with this one is it's going to be just full of channels around 500,000 subscribers. The more influence you have, the more hype that you're going to get. I imagine them all just being at the top. I don't, I understand, like, I understand my position in coming from here because I'm a very small channel. I don't want it to come across as like, well, it's not fair, you know. I, if I were YouTube, I would just lower this. I don't know what the right number is. But 500,000 is a lot. And if somebody has 500,000 subscribers and they just say, hey, everybody, hype me up, they're just going to stay on the top. Is it fair? Yeah, it's, an, it's a cool thing. Like, there's nothing exactly wrong with it. But if you're looking, if the goal for it is to find emerging creators, I don't think that's necessarily the way to do it. But regardless, I'm sure there'll be tweaks. It's going to be really exciting. My most excited one is this, okay? YouTube auto dubbing is coming to even more creators. What is it? It will instantly put your video in multiple different languages while still sounding similar to you. This is huge for reaching a worldwide audience. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, I don't know if you guys have played around with this, but the AI is getting incredible with what they are doing with auto dubbing. I've seen it. It works. It, for the most part, depending on what software they're using, it'll be great. To have a reach to the world is going to be life-changing for so many people. I love the fact that people who don't speak English will be able to watch my videos and vice versa. Like I might find a channel that I never heard about because there's a language difference and now we can just auto dub it. It's going to be automatically put in English with that same voice. And it's not like it's going to be robotic either. It's going to be like my voice, but in another language. Like if you guys haven't looked at any of that technology, if you guys are new here, I'm very, very interested in AI technology and the future of it. Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to doom us all, but I'm still interested in the technology. The dubbing voice if they have the proper, if they have the proper uh, software for it, it's going to be perfect. It's great. I, I've seen this done. It's going to be great. So another thing that YouTube already did a little while ago is you can actually remove background music from your video if it's copyrighted while still keeping your voice in there. So YouTube's been playing around this type of technology for a little bit, and that works great. Let's continue on. Cool fact. In the last three years, creators on YouTube have made over $70 billion. That's crazy. YouTube is the highest paying creator platform. And the reason I wanted to include this one with a bunch of a bunch of the tweets over here is because it was in the middle of it, first of all. But if you guys are like looking for a way to succeed in life, like this is absolutely the way to do it, man. This is the new way to get rich. $70 billion in the last three years just from creators. And that's from a 70-30 share, by the way. It's crazy what it's become. It's only going to be it's only going to be even better because there is going to be another monetization update. Check this one out. Introducing YouTube gifts. A new way to make money and get fan support, kind of like donations when you're live, and it's called Jewels. It'll be for Verticals live streams coming to the USA first. Now, there isn't a ton of information on this, but from my understanding, it's kind of like what TikTok does, and it's like how kind of uh, Twitch does. Oh, there we go. Bits, like the top reply says over here. Bits for YouTube. It's going to work kind of the same way. I don't know what the strength is to it, to be honest with you. I don't know why we just can't work with Super Chat, but regardless, people are really hyped about this, so I'm not going to complain over here. I rarely stream in shorts. I don't anymore because there was a problem with Adam and OBS and getting banned from Epic Games ban Epic Games programs, but that's a whole conversation for another time. <laughs> I love Adam and what they do, man, but I, I, I need to get that whole solved before I start streaming in short form again. So what I'm particularly excited for is the dub more than anything. I want to expand my reach to a worldwide audience and just like 
like like Mua said over here, man, like like seventy billion dollars in the last three years for creators. Billion with a B. Seventy. Insane. Insane. YouTube is the future, man. It's going to be the future social media platform. Like I think it's going to overtake Twitch. It already took, of course, it already took over everything. But Twitch isn't going to be a thing down the road. I don't think Kick's going to be a thing down the road. I think YouTube is just going to be on top permanently. So if you're somebody who wanted to start a channel and you need a kick in the butt to do that, like ch listen to this. And by the way, guys, if you are interested in anything that's going on with YouTube, Muaz is the absolute best to do it. He's first to it in my opinion. I have notifications on for him. He's really, again, he's really really good at what he does, guys. Let me know what you thought about everything down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out this video on screen if you'd like to continue watching the channel. I would love to have you guys over there. Take care, everybody.